Hey guys, it's me, Art and Sanity. I am back with another art video. What? <laughs> um, so in today's video, I'm doing a watercolor painting. And I was sort of going to originally do kind of like a random watercolor splatter challenge into a finished painting. Which I sort of did, but in the end, I don't really think that worked out. It's basically just a watercolor painting. So in the beginning I was doing just random splatters, but then I started adding like detail that I wanted to do on my own. And later I went and drew over it. So basically I'm just using my Sakurai so Sakurai. Um my Sakura Sakura Oh my god. I'm using my Sakura Koi watercolors for this, and I did a lot of paint splatters and just random paint drips. And as you can see, I put the duct tape down to create a white border around it, which I sort of messed up because I should have just left it on a little longer for later, so that because I ended up getting paint like around the border anyway. So that was a little bit of a mess up, but at least I know for next time. I am just continuing to sketch the guy on top of my painting so it didn't really turn out his face didn't really turn out as I wanted it to but it turned out pretty like okay I guess in the end um I think I took it like a little too far and added a little too much paint and a white gel pen on top but that's later on so I'll get to that later Right now I'm just using black watercolor. I filled in the background part so that he would just pop out. And I'm also adding details to his face. So now I'm just adding some details into the hair, or like painting on the hair basically, not adding details. Um, I'm adding the details with my black watercolor and I'm also just going back into the face and sort of adding more details to the face or sort of fixing things that I didn't like and I also added like freckles on his face so that you could sort of tell it was the skin and I also went in with a black sharpie so that I could have a little bit more like precise tool to use I guess. And I also used the sharpie in basically all the black parts. And I also added more watercolor onto the face, which I kind of regret actually because it sort of dulled out the paint that was underneath it. And now I'm just using my white jelly roll pen to add more details. And yeah, that's basically it right now. I'm just, just sort of refining things. So I just went and I finished up adding the white jelly roll around all the outlines of his, fa his face and like his eyes and stuff so that it could really pop and stand out from the rest since everything got quite dark. And I'm basically just doing exactly what I was doing before and adding more details. So now I'm just painting him outside of the background and going into the border so that he sort of pop sort of pops out from the background and is sort of the main focus of the drawing. And this sort of got messed up later because I sort of went and added a little bit too much like paint splatters later on. So I think he sort of blended in. But at least I know better for the next time I do a painting like this. So now I'm just really going with my Sharpie and adding more details, especially in the hair because whenever I tried using the watercolor in the hair, it sort of got everywhere and dulled the rest of the painting around it. 
and so I decided to use Sharpie to add more of the black details but basically I think I overdid it with like adding black in some areas because it sort of dulled down the original painting that I had under it and now I'm just going in with watercolor um, I mixed it with a little bit of white watercolor so that it would be opaque and you could actually see it on top of the black and I used that to add like paint splatters and add details on top of the areas that were black. So now as you can see I've already started adding the paint splatters and the paint drips going down the sides and I think this actually looked really cool at first but later on I think I actually added a little bit too much and made him blend in with the background too much which I thought it would be cool to make him sort of blend in more but I actually didn't like how that turned out and I couldn't really undo that so I guess I know better for next time. I think I've said that like 10 times already throughout this video. And I also use my white jelly roll pen later to add like a bunch of different dots and like to make it pop and to make it look shiny was really the thing. I just wanted it to be like sparkly. So now as you can see I'm using my white jelly roll pen just to add in all of those like white dots. And now I am going in and just adding more watercolor drips and more watercolor like splatters and this is the part where I sort of think I was taking it too far and he started to blend in with the background and also as you can see I sort of went out of the border but uh, whatever and that is the finished picture I really hope that you guys like it I really enjoyed making it for you and I will see you guys next time bye